Welcome to part two of the madness. So in part one, we got the NVIDIA drivers. We got the Cache OS kernel. We got the Cache OS settings. And we had Steam, Lutris, so on and so forth. I forgot to install Heroic. We're on bare metal at the moment. And uh, so I guess we should continue. Oh, this version I've installed Cosmic as well. Great, huh? And just to keep it on par, I guess, what we're going to do is we're going to just drag that stuff in there. But uh, just to show you, NVIDIA drivers will end up working. Okay, it's pretty freaking clear. Just because you do something in a VM, it doesn't mean it automatically does not translate well into bare metal. So I've already installed, uh, what do you call it? OBS because of course we need to record now we're going to go grab DaVinci's Resolve if you don't use DaVinci's Resolve skip this step and wait for something you do because there should be timestamps hopefully I'll end up remembering so I'm going to uh, grab DaVinci's Resolve Studio 19.1.1 because that's what I use and we'll be back and install it all right onward and upward I hate saying that I keep saying it though so I'm going to extract this so hopefully it's going to go quickly. It did. Thank you. It did not download very quickly. And what we're going to do is we're going to just make it open. And to do this, we're going to open a console. I'm going to make this bigger. I like how the text is freaking huge. And I really need to disable multitasking. One second. All right. So we're going to hit paste. Skip package. Skip underscore package underscore check equals one then we're going to do big d and hit tab to autocomplete uh, once that goes over we hit next next agree start install enter your password now that that's part's done we're going to need to remove some files so hit clear so you can have i don't know uh the ability to see things better i guess and we're going to paste in a single command. So this command says cd slash ops slash resolve slash lib. And then once it goes in there, it's going to make a directory called disable lib or disable libraries. And then it's going to pseudo move certain libraries with, you know, an asterisk. It basically finds them and moves them into that folder. This allows DaVinci's resolve to even start up. Hit clear. And I'm going to activate this real quick and then I'm going to show you that it works. So now that we have everything activated, we can go and drag it to the toolbar. I'm going to put it right beside OBS because that's where it belongs and that's where it lives. And of course, we need to bring it to full screen so you can see. Uh, we can do a quick setup or skip to start setup now. And if it asks us about AI, we're good to go. Optimize neural engines. That is it. We're going to hit disable for now and I'm going to close this and we're going to move on to setting up affinity apps. So like affinity photo and affinity designer. So this is affinity on Linux. This is, these are batch scripts that I kept alive and updated because most people don't want to follow a whole long ass guide when they can have this, just do it for them. And this is honestly one of the best ways that you can really uh, make this happen. So we're going to gather the photo one first and you're going to hit control H for GNOME to minimize that and make that go away. And we're going to end up going into here and hitting paste. Okay. We're going to hit enter. It's going to show you that all dependencies are installed, but wait, there's a problem. Wine tricks is not updated properly on Fedora 40. Now in part one, I did show you how to update wine tricks. So you guys are good to go. But this is for you guys that didn't do that. And I am going to have to be that guy that shows you how to do it. So you're going to go to the GitHub for wine tricks. You're going to hit download where it says code, download zip. Once you've downloaded the zip, okay, it will be in your downloads folder and you're going to extract it. You'll see it has this stuff in it. You're going to right click open console. You're going to type sudo make install. And you're going to enter your password that installs the newest version of wine tricks and that is it you're done and back to that being minimized so what this is going to do is it's going to install things with wine tricks and it's going to set everything up that needs to be set up all the dependencies are currently already installed so we just have to wait for this to finish 
And now we're going to copy over the installer into the right folder, which again, you need to hit control H to be able to see the hidden folders. And where are you? You're right here. I'm going to just paste this in right now. And once that's finished, we'll execute everything. Then should be good to go. So yeah, we're going to do this. I'm going to do this one more time with designer. I don't need to show you that one, but we're going to just do this. Uh, as you can see, it works fine. I'm going to hit yes to install. It's going to do its stuff. And what do we need to do after this? I need to figure this out. I do need Proton Plus, but I've already showed you guys how to install that. I've just showed you how to guys how you guys how to install DaVinci's Resolve, which is good. So again, there's just really designer left to go. And then I will show you around GNOME and then KDE and then Cosmic, I guess. Yeah, that'll probably be good. All right, before I go, I just wanted to show you that this works. Okay. Well, I hope to God it works. It better. I mean, I just did everything right. And I want to show you that this works. Okay. So there we go. It is working. Wine Tricks was the issue. It was not working. So this should help any of you who are having issues with that. So now we have OBS set up, DaVinci's Resolve set up. We have Affinity Photo set up. We have Affinity Designer set up. Everything is done and ready to go. Now, all we need to do is customize the desktop environment, which again, I've been through a million times with you guys and I have a video on it. I don't really think I need to do anything else besides just the basics, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop recording here in this section. And in the next section, I'm basically going to speed run setting up my desktop environment. And you guys can slow it down if you want, but I just, I'm, I'm really, really, tired of running people through what to do especially when i have enough videos on it that you guys can figure things out and go check out that video because it doesn't need to be updated at all you know so uh yeah <laughs>
Now I've decided not to go over Cosmic or KDE because again, I already have videos where you know you can figure out how to customize them and do whatever you need to with those. So here we are, we're done. This is my desktop environment. This is the way that I have it set up. I hope you guys enjoyed part two. If you did hit the like button, don't forget to subscribe because first part, we set it up for gaming. Set it part, we set up for content creation. I figured two parts are better than one and I didn't want to make that video over an hour long. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video. Bye, everybody.